slider A is connected to slider B through a rigid uniform link AB of length L equals 500 mm as shown. Knowing that at the instant when theta equals tangent negative 1 or 3 over 4, slider A has a velocity of 5 m per second downward. Determine at this instant A, the angular velocity of rod AB, B, the velocity of slider B, and C, the velocity of the mass center G of link AB. This is the diagram. We have the slider A, slider B, and the rod link AB. Slider A is moving downward with a constant velocity of 5 meters per second. Because of the motion of slider A, slider B will move to the right. Both sliders A and B have pure translational motion. A is moving downward. B is moving to the right. The rod link AB will move what we call general plane motion. It is a combination of translational motion and rotational motion. We know that when the A is going down, B is going to the right, the angle of theta is getting smaller. So we have the rotation of the link AB. We are going to solve this problem using two different methods. The first one is relative velocity method. I'm going to show you the steps. Step 1. Locate the point whose velocity and direction are known. In our case, the velocity and the direction of slider A is given, which is 5 meter per second downward. Step 2. Locate the point whose direction is known. In this problem, we know that slider B will move to the right. We don't know the magnitude, but the direction is known. Step 3. Divide the motion of the body as the sum of translation and rotation motions. I draw the rod AB two times. One is intended to draw the translation motion. One is intended to draw the rotational motion. Step 4. Put the known velocity on the translation motion diagram on all points of interest. As told earlier, we have the velocity of A going downward of 5 meter per second. So we are going to put the velocity VA at point A and at point B. Step 5. Put an angular velocity at the point where the velocity is known and the corresponding tangential velocity on the other point. Indicate the known angle. We are going to draw it in this rotational diagram. We know that when A is moving down and B is moving to the right, the link AB will rotate with anti-clockwise direction. Due to this angular velocity at A, at B we are going to have a tangential velocity perpendicular to the link AB in the direction to the right upward. We name it VBA, that is the velocity of B relative to point A. We know the angle AB with the horizontal, which is theta, so we put theta here and also theta there. This will help us in calculating the value later. Step 6. Write the velocity relation. VB equal to VA plus VBA. And we also know that VBA equals omega L, where L is the length of the rod.
Now, let's draw a velocity triangle that represents this equation. So we have VB, which is this one, VA, which is this one, and VBA, which is this one. If we connect these three vectors, we are going to have a triangle. We have VB, which is equals to VA plus VBA, just like the equation. VA is known, 5 meter per second. Theta is also known. Theta is tangent negative 1 of 3 over 4. Knowing this VA and theta, we can determine VB or VBA. That is step number eight. Obtain the angular and unknown velocities. We know that WL cosine theta is VA. Hence, omega is VA over L cosine theta. Replacing all these variables with their values, we obtain omega equal 12.5 radian per second. The angular velocity is anti-clockwise. So we can write omega in vector equal to 12.5 k radian per second. Another relation that you can obtain from this velocity triangle is tangent theta equals to VB over VA. And from the problem, we know that tangent theta equals 3 over 4. So we can obtain VB. VB equals 3 over 4 VA. Or 3 over 4 times 5 meter per second. That gives us VB equals to 3.75 meter per second. And we know that VB is directed to the right horizontally towards the X positive. So we can write in vector VB equals 3.75 I meter per second. Now we are going to do the second method. We call it instantaneous center method. Step 1 and step 2 are the same with the previous method. So we go directly to step 3. Draw perpendicular lines to the velocities. Extend them until there is an intersection. This is the perpendicular line to the velocity at A. And this vertical line is the perpendicular line to the velocity at B. Both perpendicular lines intersect at I. This point I, we call it the center of rotation of the general motion body at a given instant. So this is what we call the instantaneous center of rotation. Step 4. Calculate the angular velocity based on the known velocity. Knowing the velocity of slider A, which is 5 meters per second directed downward, and the distance from I to A, we can obtain the angular velocity about point I. As we know that from point I, VA is the tangential velocity of A when we rotate this perpendicular line about point I, where VA equals to omega times the distance from I to A. Here we have the angular velocity omega AB in the anticlockwise direction. We have VA equal to omega AB times the distance IA. IA can be obtained knowing the length of the rod L and the angle theta. We have IA equals to L cosine theta. We obtain IA equal to 0 0.4 meters. 
Having IA, we can obtain omega AB, 5 meter per second over 0.4 meter, which is 12.5 radian per second. The angular velocity omega AB equal to 12.5 radian per second with the direction anticlockwise. Or we can write omega AB equals 12.5 K radian per second. Step 5. Calculate velocity of the other point. From point I, if there is a rotation omega AB, the velocity of slider B, BB, can be considered as the tangential velocity BB equals to omega AB times IB. Knowing the length of the rod AB, which is L, and the angle theta, we can obtain the distance from I to B. IB is L sine theta, 0.3 meters. Hence, we can obtain VB, which is equal to 12.5 radian per second times 0.3 meters. It is equal to 3.75 meter per second. and the direction is horizontally to the right. If we write in the vector form, it will be VB equals 3.75 I meter per second. So let's return back to the problem. We have answered question A and question B of link AB. Now, let's answer question C. The velocity of the mass center G of link AB. We know the velocity of VA, which is 5 meter per second going down. We have the relation VG equals VA plus VGA, where VGA is the velocity of G relative to A. We have VA equals to negative 5j meter per second because it is directed vertically downward. We have VGA is omega vector product RGA. Omega is 12.5 k radian per second. RGA that is the vector from A to G. We know that point G is the center of mass of the rod AB by assuming that the rod AB is uniform, the center G will be in the middle of the rod. It means the distance from A to G will be L over 2. If we write the vector AG, we can obtain from this relation, which is L over 2 times cosine theta I minus sine theta J. We have RGA equals 0.2i minus 0.15j meters. To obtain VGA, we do the vector product between the omega 12.5k radian per second with the RGA 0.2i minus 0.15j. First, you multiply 12.5k with 0.2i and then you multiply 12.5k with negative 0.15j. We know that when k vector product with i, we are going to have j. And when k vector product with j, we are going to have negative i. Since we have negative i and then we have negative here, we are going to have positive. So VGA equals to 2.5J plus 1.875I meter per second. So having VA and VGA, we can obtain VG, the velocity of point G. VG equals 1.875I minus 2.5J meter per second.